Good afternoon on what is a cold and frosty day. It is a balmy three degrees here in Birmingham on Saturday, uh, 17th of December, and I'm in the Reed Nook with a uh, cat who is not ours, um, a nice hot cup of tea. Mm. Oh, yeah. And parcel to unbox. So let's get to it. Uh, okay, so what have I got in here? Yeah. Um, what I've got in here is a copy of Slow Horses. Um, and this is the book by uh, Mick Heron, which people may know from the television series, uh, which is available on Apple Plus. Now, I've not seen that. I don't have a subscription to Apple Plus, um, although I'd like to on the strength of this book. So, um, spooks do I suppose to be stealthy, uh, but those that make a, no a noisy mess of their careers end up in Slough House. This is Jackson, Jackson Lamb's Kingdom, a dumping ground for spies who screwed up. Once high flyers, now they're slow horses. Condemned to a life of pushing paper as punishment for crimes of drugs and drugness, lecture and failure, politics and betrayal. In drab and mildewed offices, these highly trained spies mine, moan and squabble, stare at the walls and dream of better ways. Not one of them uh, joined the intelligence service to be a slow horse. Uh, and the one, the one thing they have in common is their desire to be back in action. So when a young man is kidnapped and held hostage, the beheading schedule for live broadcast is on the net. The slow horses aren't going to just sit quietly and watch. Unless they can prove they're not as useless as they thought, as they're thought to be, a public execution is going to echo around the world. So, um, this is sort of like an anti-spy novel, if you were. Because when you think of spies, you think of really kind of two kinds of spies. I suppose you've got the high action um, drama the, um, of uh, uh, James Bond, um, you know, with uh, super villains and world changing plans and things like that, you know. And um, James Bond as a character can swan around the world um, with his license to kill, seducing women. Um, and um, you know, announcing his presence everywhere he goes. Slow horses is kind of different, um, you know. Um, I mean, these, it's different to that, and similarly, it's different to the other kind of strand, which is like the smiley, smiley's people, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy kind of spy depicted in the works of John Le Carre, where he, the, the spies are competent, um, um, you know, good at the job, secretive, um, but come across in many ways as. Um, it's sort of like bureaucrats and um, and the like. It's small scale espionage um, played out, um, you know, in, in very small steps. Um, but, uh, this though um, combines a bit, uh, combines a sort of elements of both, but generally um, that your the cast of characters are, as I say, screw ups um, at, uh, who have um, you know. Uh, uh, um, have made errors um, and consequently uh, the, the service has decided that, that, that it doesn't want them in the field, doesn't want them to be you know working directly on jobs and to, but doesn't want to fire them because essentially they've trained them and they don't want the, scale, the skills going elsewhere so they shunt them off to, 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 to Slough House um, where you know they do pit, make, uh, make work they literally have you know uh, I think it's the term that the phrase is they have window jobs their career is over um, you know, all they've got to do is is, is, is look out the window and, and t until they retire. Um, except they're in Slough House, um, which is a dump. Um, you know, fate, um, you know, peeling paint, um, mildewed carpets, um, poor service, poor facilities, um, and uh, a boss, Jackson Lamb, who is vile. Um, you know, smokes in the office, drinks in the office. Um, you know, if you're in the middle of the meeting, he's not part. Um, uh, it, it's um, it's it's uh, it, it's it's not unknown for him to let one go. Typically, after he's had a hard night's drink and curry, and um, uh, or essentially, if he's got an itch, he'll literally take his shoes and socks off and and and, and pick at his toes. He is that vile a character, um, and um, you know, and he, he's the boss, and he basically, you know, he has so little regard for them, 
um, but he does actually care. You know, he says that you're all kind of screw ups. Um, at, um, at, uh, you know, at, uh, I have to deal with you. Um, so you have to deal with, me, deal with him. Anyway, so there's sort of like nine books. I think there's nine books in the series. Plus there's um, uh, novellas as well. Uh, and I was really glad it's been picked up for a TV series because it's really enjoyable. The, the, the books are really good. So yeah, that is um, Slow Horses, um, which I thoroughly recommend. It's ex it's, it's an excellent read. Um, and you'll find yourself sort of going, oh, I want to read the next one. Because um, they tend to, essentially, there are a couple of sort of like core characters in there, two or three core characters in there as such. Um, but the cast of, 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 of the book, um, you know, the, 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 the poor um, inhabitants of Slower House tend to find themselves sort of like, you know, uh, rotating in and out as, as things go on um, at, uh, and secrets are revealed. And the other thing is, um, there's a very uh, there's, there's, there's a little bit of a, um, um, a streak of um, at, uh, how can I put it um, anti-government sentiment in there as well. Uh, um, there's a little bit of politics in there uh, where you know I think the phrase is cocking a snook at certain types of politicians, which if you are uh, British you will recognise from um, the media over the past decade. Um, at, uh, including a including one who has been prime minister, and one who um, prevented him from being prime minister before. So you know who I'm, I, I, I may well be for referring to. Anyway, that's to come in the later books. In this one, this is the starting point. Um, at uh, as I said, entertaining, readable, uh, and you'll find yourself sort of like on the, on the beginning of reading another good series. So that's Slow Horses by Mick Heron. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing. If you have, then please do click on the like button down below. And of course, if you've got any comments or feedback, I appreciate you uh, uh, taking the time to post, uh, post those. And lastly, if you want to be alerted to yet more unboxings in the Nook, where you will see me out here in the Read Nook um, with a parcel uh, containing uh, a book or game which I'll unbox and chat about to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes or so, usually, um, Usually 10 minutes or so, but it's a bit shorter, and usually a, a, a game rather than an actual novel. Um, you know, all accompanied by a nice hot cup of tea. And a cat who is not ours, um, then please do click on that subscribe button down below. In the meantime, thanks again for watching. We'll be back again soon with another unboxing. Good luck. Bye for now.